Hey everybody, welcome to Brick Vault. My name is Jack and today we've got an awesome city set for you. Fireboat. This set is recommended for ages 6 to 12. It is set number 60109 and it has 412 pieces. Included are five minifigs. We have a fireboat captain, some firefighters, a fire scuba diver, and a lighthouse keeper. And the fireboat itself seems to have a big old water shooting crane that's meant to put out the fire on the lighthouse. All right, let's check out how many bags we got inside. Now I can see why there was only 400 pieces in such a big box. You can see we have these two giant boat pieces, a couple other plate pieces, four bags, a manual. Let's get started. Just finished this awesome set, but let's take a quick look at the minifigs first. Here is our fireboat captain. He's got black pants and a white shirt with detailing for a tie, belt, walkie-talkie, badge, and more. And you can see he has a bearded kind of serious face with a white captain's hat. Pretty cool minifig. It looks like he is all business. Moving on to our three firefighters. They all have black suits and neon green and silver highlighting. Though you can see the scuba diver has some slightly different scuba detailing. And when you see them with their equipment on, the firefighters don't have their oxygen tanks and visors like they normally do, but instead they have life preservers. And our scuba guy looks pretty ready to go with his single oxygen tank, helmet with snorkel, and flippers. A very capable looking crew, but let's check out the lighthouse keeper. He has blue legs and a white torso piece with detailing to make it look like he's wearing blue overalls. He's got a red scruffy looking beard and a dark blue beanie. Here are all five minifigs to Together. They're pretty cool, but what's way cooler is this awesome fire boat. It looks great in red and those stickers on the side don't look too bad either. And when you look at all the detailing around the deck and on the edges, there's hardly a spot that you can't find something cool. The deck is covered in a bunch of lights, we've got switches, and there's actually a ton of equipment for the crew to grab. On the sides there are two poseable water cannons, and in the front there is a poseable stud shooting water cannon. And there you can see some even bigger floodlights, fire extinguishers, and even more detailing. And when you take a look at the back, you might have noticed this big crane. The arm can swivel and extend, and on the top you can see a stud shooting water cannon alongside a water piece to show even more gushing water. And underneath you can find tons of equipment and switches, as well as a place to put the little inflatable fire dinghy, which we will get to in a second. But let's look over to the command center. The shape of this cockpit is really great with those splayed out windows, and there's tons of really good detailing all over the roof. And speaking of the roof, you can take it off. And inside you can see a couple of steering wheels and control console pieces. And you can bet this is where the captain is spending most of his time. But not only the roof is removable, you can actually take the entire cockpit out as well. And inside you can see a small kitchen and a place for sleeping. The kitchen area has a stove, mug, and med kit. And the bed on the other side is actually a cot. So this could double as also a place to put an injured minifig. And how would a minifig get injured? Well, probably a fire, so let's check out the lighthouse. It's a simple build, but looks pretty good and has just about everything the lonely lighthouse keeper might want. On the outside of the small shack, you can see a dock that has an outside light and a lifesaver on the side. The door opens, and on the other side, you can see a mug with a bottle. And on the wall, there's a picture of our lighthouse keeper holding a big fish. And across the rocky path from the shack, there is the lighthouse itself. It's a very simple build, but the look is certainly unmistakable. And this whole area comes with two movable fire pieces. And this is, of course, to simulate the lighthouse being on fire, or you could put the fire on top of the shack if you like. And they just rest on top of the studs and don't stick in. This makes it much easier to knock down with the stud water cannons. And let's take a quick look at the dinghy. The yellow boat piece itself is so detailed that you don't really have to put much on this in order for the build to be complete. It's super simple and totally works. But there was one interesting thing written on the box that I didn't mention in the introduction. On the box it claims that this boat can float. That's pretty cool, I guess we'll just take your word for it. I'm just kidding, let's actually test it out in the pool. And uh, yeah, it actually floats pretty well. The top of the boat really only is a couple inches above the water. 
and there's no doubt in my mind that this thing would fill up in between the gray plate if it was tipped to the side. So yeah, it does float, but if you were to do a big cannonball next to this thing in the pool, I doubt it would stay afloat. And I'm not gonna test that one out right now because it's really cold, it's January. But now let's take one last look at the whole set together. It's a very complete set with some really cool features. And this fireboat is probably my favorite fire department vehicle from the city sets in 2016. So that's it for the fireboat. If you'd like to buy this set, you can go ahead and click the link in the video description below. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you here next time at Brick Vault.